We've used this truck for 32 years and it's hauled all kind of things for us. In early March, we brought it in for some minor repairs and uh, it turned out to be a complete restoration. Uh, we were planning to put it back in service, but uh, nobody wants to drive it anymore. Nobody wants to put the first scratch in it. So uh, we went out and purchased another newer truck uh, to do the job and uh, let this one have a good, good rest and be our advertising toy. My name is Todd Wilson from Hutchinson, Kansas, Wheat State Chapter. And this is my 1947 Dodge WF32, ton and a half. It uh, worked on a farm at Langdon, Kansas, and then changed hands a couple of times uh, before I got it. I've had the truck almost two years. It's all original with a little over 30,000 miles on it. When I got the truck home, in the glove box was the original owner's manual. It was penciled in, bought March 20, 1947, with 1,032 miles on it. The wheels are date-coded March of 47, so sometime in that 20 days, it uh, went over 1,000 miles to get to Kansas. So I don't know where it was bought yet. I'm still working on that. Weekends, I'll run around in it. Sometimes I'll drive it to work. You, you got to be in the right frame of mind to drive it. <laughs> if you're in the least least bit of a hurry, don't get in it because you can't rush the truck. It's just slow, strong, old truck. Scott Gehring, Newton, Kansas, uh, president of Wheat State Chapter. Uh, got a 1955 Kenworth. Had it for probably 30 years. First time it was completely wore out, rebuilt it, used all used parts to build it. Uh, took and ran it about 25, 30 years. Ended up rebuilding it again. The, the front end is original. The, the body itself is the original truck. The color's been original through the entire life that we've had the truck. The front end's been changed, the rear ends have been changed, the engine's updated, the, uh, the radiator's been specially built so it can handle cooling for the bigger engine. It's finally got all new parts, power steering, uh, everything updated. It's got a Canadian air ride suspension, newer air conditioning, and of course, a little bit bigger sleeper than they had in the 50s. Just, it's just basically an old truck completely updated, and it gets to set in the shed. What we do is other members in the club have uh, trucks, 45, 50 mile an hour trucks. We hook a trailer on it. We take their truck with us, uh, haul them, and take the trailer off, put it in the show. It's traveled. It's done a lot. We've enjoyed, you know, uh, being at the ATHS shows. We've got this is about the fourth or fifth one now that it's been to. We just enjoy being at the shows and having a lot of fun. We've just had a tremendous turnout. A lot of people have come, a lot of interest, and a lot of people enjoying old trucks. The weather's cool, and just, just really having a good show, and people are enjoying it. Smile, Scott. What can I say? <laughs> 